Hi guys, this is JP from FSI Panel. Just a quick video today to see how to use FSI Panel with the Aerosoft Airbus 320 Pro. I just got one user telling me that he had some issue flying the Aerosoft and particularly how to set the thrust lever to climb, which for some of you uh, it looks like the uh, thrust lever are not moving while we are in uh, slow mode. So let's have a look together. Today we will do two exercises. The first one is a quick approach, ILS-14 in Zurich, where we don't want to set up any MCDU, just want to fly the landings. And the second scenario will be a full approach coming from a waypoint, and we will set our MCDU. So let's start, as always, with PT P3D on ground. I have my Raptor ready to fly. Now I will bring FSI panel. You can see on top here I have the aircraft already selected, it's the EasyJet A320 and I will go ahead and prepare this approach. So I will select Zurich. Oh sorry, before I do that I will change the weather to uh, Active Sky. So I will go Setup and on the options I will choose Active Sky as the weather. And let's go for it. So now if I go to Zurich, I can see that I have a nice weather with a cloudy sky, light rain showers. The wind is in limit for runway 14 and we have 15 degrees, beautiful. So I will select this airport. If I want to fly an LS14 here, this is what we want to do. We can see that we have a crosswind of four, no headwind, so everything looks good. Light and variable, so I will take ILS14. And now we can select the distance, so I would like to make something in between here, so I will go in the select fix, and I will choose a 6 miles final. 6 miles final, enter, I see that I should be at 3200 feet, I will leave it as a default, enter. And validate, so now I can see on top here that my LS14 6 nautical mile is prepared, and we should be at 3200 feet, so let's go for it, move aircraft. So now on the first scenario, what I will do, I will show you that uh, in uh, slow mode, my thrust lever is moving. And for some of you, apparently, it doesn't move. So let's see, it's not a big problem. You just have to uh, set your thrust lever once the aircraft is flying. So let's see that together. So now the uh, P3D is loading off flight. We should be in Zurich, that's it. As always, do not touch anything, just stand by. Okay, now we are in slow mode. As you can see on top here, please set your thrust lever to climb and hit the Y key when done. So now in my case, if I move my thrust levers, as you can see, it moves. So now I will simulate that it doesn't work. So for some of you, that's the case. So we will see what happens. So what I will do, I will just basically press the Y key and then move the thrust lever to climb. So let's press the Y key. And now I move my thrust lever to climb. That's it. Now what you need to check is on your FMA, you see speed. Then you're all set. Now, as you can see here, your MCDU is being programmed by FSI panel, so do not touch anything. And here we are all set. Now the altitude will go to 3,200. We see that we are almost there. The speed is there. We are in a landing configuration, so I will not touch anything. I'll let the FSI panel do the job. I will just turn the radar off as it's giving us a lot of echoes due to this rain. So let's go for weather radar. weather and I will put it let's see if it's better now yeah it's better for you to see the video so we see the weather is not that bad and now FSI panel tell you please check all the autopilot mode set your FMC and when ready hold your brake to start flying so here I just want to practice a landing so I don't need to set anything else everything is done for me so the only thing I need to do is hold my brake for one second I have control, as you can see on the top left of the screen, and I will arm my approach, and I will put my second autopilot, just in case we need to do an auto land. So now we can see on our PFD, sorry, I will try to put it down there. Okay, now 
how do we move that thing here all right so now we can see that we are fully stabilized we see cat 3 dual everything looks good and we can fly our approach so this is the first options if you just want to practice landing there is no need to basically set anything even One the speed time. now you can see my speed is in manage mode as you can see here sorry in uh, in manual mode so if i push it i go manage and the speed will be set as well so fsi panel has prepared that in your mcdu so now we just have to fly this approach for uh, training purposes as you can see on the map display we do not have any go around we do not have and information should we decide to go around. So here my idea was just to practice the approach and the landing without basically uh, setting everything in case of a missed approach. So let's continue this approach to a landing and then we will see how to prepare another flight, another approach where I will set the MCDU. All right, everything looks good here. I will continue flying with the autopilot down to, let's say, 500 feet, and then I will try a manual landing. It's a long time I even fly this Airbus. So let's see. The rain is starting. All right. Nicely stabilized. Coming to 500 feet, I will disconnect the autopilot. Right. Check, autopilot comes off. And now we're just aiming to keep our glide slope, land. 300 is checked. Slightly low, correcting the glide. Minimum 100. Continue landing, we're at minimums. Everything looks good. A little bit shaky here. Versus. And we have completed our first landing in Zurich. All right, so I will just stop here on the runway center line, and now we will talk about our second scenario, which is a little bit more complicated, and we will use as well the snapshot mode. Okay, so I will stay on the runway here, and I will open my FSI panel there. And now we are going to do another approach. So let me just show you what we want to do. This is the RS-14 that we've just flown. So now what we will try to do is position ourselves at this waypoint. You see Gipol. Gipol waypoint, we should be around 7,000 feet and we will fly outbound on the radial 054 to establish ourselves on the ILS here. What we want to do is a managed descent from 7,000 feet to the glide slope so we want to set the all mcdu as well the missed approach will be there so we'll see how we can do that this gipole we find it in uh, several star so if i pick up any star let's say i know that it is in the berceau arrival for example so if you take any star that end up in uh, in a gipole that's good enough so i will select any of the star which end up in Gipol. Okay, so for us, if I take this oval one golf, Gipol will be into the waypoint database so I can use it in FSI panel. So we want to be, as we said, 7,000 feet over Gipol. So let's prepare it, prepare it in FSI panel. So Zurich is already there, my runway is already there. So now what I want to do, select fix, I want to star. I'm sorry, but the database is not up to date because I was developing a little bit on this computer and I forgot to update it. But for this last bit, everything is correct. I was checking it before. So we said Bersu 1 Golf, any star, any transition doesn't matter. The only thing we want to see is the uh, initial approach fix and you can see that Gipol is there. So this is what we want. Now the heading will be 332. Let's have a look if this is what we want. 332, that will bring me 
to the north of Gipol. So the best thing for us will be to have the heading already set to 054. So I will select the heading 054 and I would like to be, let's say, a good five miles west of the point. So 054, I will go heading and type 054 and then the five miles offset that we need. Validate. And now we are ready to fly. So I will press move aircraft and we will fly this approach. As the Aerosoft is already loaded, you can see that we get an option to basically load the Raptor first or to restart the sim. I will choose load the Raptor first. Now the Raptor is coming into view. This is to avoid any uh, crash to desktop or any uh, bad behavior from your Airbus. So the Raptor should be loading and as soon as the Raptor is loaded, FSI panel will kick in and you will get your flight prepared in Zurich. So let's see what's happening here. We should be in Gipol, five miles southwest of the point at 7,000 feet with an heading of 054. And from there, we will prepare everything for our descent and our approach and the missed approach will be there as well. All right, so the Airbus is loading. As always, do not touch anything. Now we are in this famous My Control. Please set your thrust lever to climb again. If it's possible for you, do it. If not, do it just after you release the Y, the flight. So I will do it again as if it will not work. So very easy. I press Y and then I move my thrust lever to climb. And I check my FMA. I should have speed. Good. Again, this weather. Okay, let's tilt it up. And let's see if, it's, if it turns better. Or for this, I will just turn it off. It doesn't make any sense for this video as we are just uh, practicing. Okay, so I'll start 7000 feet. The speed is 210 knots set by FSI panel. Our heading is 054. And our MCDU has been pre programmed. All right, so now we are ready to set up everything. So I will go in my MCDU. And what we need to do is go to the flight plan page. You can see that FSI panel has already set your destination as Zurich. So I will press on my destination. I will choose an arrival. We said that we want to do an ILS-14. So I will select my ILS-14. The star that we choose was the Bersu-1 Golf. So I will choose Bersu-1 Golf. And then I have the transition here, and the transition was Gipol. This is the point, if you look here, that we are interested to fly into. So I will select Gipol and insert. So now, if I look in my nav, nav display, I can see that Gipol is five miles in front of me. This is exactly what we wanted. A couple of more things needs to be set. First of all, if we go to the performance page, you can see that now we're going to fly 250 knots. So my actual speed is 210 knots. So either we can increase the speed or here I will decide to maintain 210 knots. So I will just maintain 210 knots, so slash 210 knots. And we have otherwise 7000 feet as the cruise level, which is what we need. And if I go to the uh, approach phase here, I have 1013, which is the actual QNH, the wind and everything is set. I will set my minimum here for the ILS-14 in Zurich, which is 1602. So we will set that here, 1602 in the barrow minimum. Okay. So now we have set everything. We can see on the screen here that we have our approach. Everything is set. We see that the top of descent is there. So the virtual glide is coming slowly. We are still in position freeze. So now I'm ready to take over control. So what I will do, I will uh, take over the control by pressing the brake. I have control. And now what I need to do in my FMC, I need to tell direct to the first point, which you can see is Gipol, as expected. So I will go direct 
to Gipol. Insert. We have nav, so the aircraft is going to Gipol, and now I will give control to the speed to the FMC as well, to the MCDU. So I will give the speed, and now we have the speed at 210. So now we are in a fully managed mode, and we fly this arrival. At some point, there will be a top of descent coming in, so I will need to descend as per the chart. So if we look into our chart quickly, we can see that once we pass Gipol at 7,000 feet, we have a restriction, 6,000 here at uh, 10 miles Razadingen, and then we are clear to descend to 4,000 feet to intercept the localizer. So this is what we want to do. So let's have a look at this. We can see that we have passed 7,000 feet Gipol, and next 6,000 or above, and then 4,000 or above. This is our restrictions. And I will now, as soon as we see the top of descent coming, anytime soon, I will give the clearance to the uh, MCDU, to the mode control panel, sorry, to descend to 4,000 feet for our approach. So let's see. We can see that uh, the aircraft is flying nicely in IMC conditions. Everything is set up for us. We have already the ILS. And anytime soon, we will see the top of descent coming. So here I will just move a little bit forward the simulation rate as I don't want to keep you too long with me here cruising. Okay, now it's coming, as you can see it's coming here. So I will set 4,000 feet in the window and we are ready to descend. So I press the button and we see that we have descent mode activated with an altitude constraint which is the 6,000 feet constraint. So now we are starting descent. And we will see how that Airbus, this Aerosoft Airbus is managing the descent. So the ideal profile will bring us exactly on the glide slope at 4,000 feet. So let's see if that works. It will be very nice from Aerosoft. I'm sure this aircraft, I, I flew it a couple of times. It was always very nicely flown. So let's have a look. We see that the profile is perfect here. I will open that one here. It's probably easier to see what's happening. Okay, there is an alt constraint. And we will continue descent now. Perfect. At some point, I need to activate or check that the approach is activated. So I will do it now. If I go to my MCDU performance page, I see that I can activate the approach. So I will activate the approach. So now, basically, you have the bug up speed, which is there, the green dot. And the speed is dropping to up. So now it's up to you when you want to slow down for your approach. Right now, we see that we have 13 miles. So I will use flaps one. We can see that the glide slope is perfect, same as the VNAV descent. It looks like Aerosoft 320 is doing a perfect job here. Now we are turning on final. All sensing are correct. We have a localizer indication, a glide slope indication. We are within 20 miles, so I will arm the approach and arm the second autopilot. We see that we have lock star, glide slope star, beautiful. Missed approach altitude. I will set it now to, let's say, TC tell us to fly 170 knots. So I will go flaps two. I will open the speed and I will select 170 knots to be maintained. So 170 knots, flap two, and we are fully established. Missed approach altitude. It says here 7,000 feet. All right, so we're gonna set 7,000 feet. Just in case we missed approach, we have 7,000 feet. Should we go around? Glide slope, localizer, cat all, and we are fully established. This time we're gonna try an auto land with this weather. So everything looks good. And if we have a constraint, let's say maintain 170 to eight miles. This is why I have opened the window here to be in a manual mode. And we can just fly the approach like this. This is a radio altimeter call out due to terrain. Zurich elevation is 1,400, so we need to be fully stabilized by 2,400 in IMC, otherwise I will go around. So this is what I keep in mind. I can see now the runway in front of me. 
I comply still with the restrictions from the ATC, which is basically 170 to 8 miles. Now that I have my 8 miles, I can slow down, so I will go to manage mode. So the aircraft will slow down. Now we can add some more drag, so I will go gear down. Flaps 3, arm speed brake. When we go gear down, check your speed, your, sorry, your light as well. Runway turn on, and we're going to set the taxi lights on. Okay, now we are 3,400, and I will go flaps full. And now we can say that we are fully stabilized. Landing memo is all green. We are good, and we are clear to land. Wind, if we look at the wind, 2, 4, 3 at 7 knots, so we are within the limit for the auto land. So let's see now how this Aerosoft is performing on this auto land. So this is the way you can fly the Airbus, uh, Aerosoft Eight Airbus thousand. 1000. Check. So if your uh, thrust lever are not moving, don't worry. Release the flight with the Y key and then without too much delay, set your thrust lever to climb. Then what is important, check on your FMA that speed is activated. This is what you want to see. Then you're all set. Then you can do exactly what we've done in this video and fly your approaches. <coughs> it's not me, that's uh, Aero, so very nice. They, they put even uh, captain or first officer coughing. This is how oh, simulation is these days. It's incredible. Nice, so we are coming to 1,000 feet this time above the airport elevations and it's cross-checked by the um, radio altimeter and we are fully stabilized, so we can continue the approach. You can see that our missed approach is as well in the MCDU. So should we decide to go around, we're gonna have the full, up, the full path ready. So now we will just do a landing and then that will be the end of our video. So let's see how this Aerosoft performs on the landing. On an auto land with a light crosswind, around five knots from the right, a bit of rain, so we should have a perfect landing. I'm assuming that it will be good, so let's see. 500. Checked. Land. So we are all good. Two and two on the puppy. All sensing looks good. Continue, we are below minimum now. As we are flying a cat one with an auto land. And now let's see the handling by Aeros of this landing. 100. Flare. 40, 30, 20, retard, retard, retard. and roll out. So roll out mode, I will let the autopilot engage and see if she's going back to the center line. She does extend the reverses. Sixty knots. I will take autopilot off and I have control on the aircraft. That's it guys. This was a quick video to show you how to fly Aerosoft A320, 321, 318 and 319 with FSI panel. Hope you like it. If you have any question, please post below and I will answer. Thank you guys. And as always, safe landing. See you next time.